You were the only one that told the truth, the all of the truth. I went through all your videos. You told all of the truth. And that was the thing that got that All right. Yo, how we doing? Hey, hey, hey. How we doing today, sir? All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Man, good to finally meet you, man. Good to finally meet you. How's everything going so far? Everything is good, man. I have to tell you the truth. I'm already out here in the streets, man. I'm out here being the town crier. I'm telling everybody about this. So I'm ready to go. I'm amped up. Miss Mary was telling me that you're excited. He said, she said you already got some clients ready. Yeah, I have uh, six people waiting. So we just waiting on the keeps confirmation and the C. CRM together, I can start doing these valuations for you. I like that you're talking the lingo, man. <laughs> oh, no, I study, brother. I study. <laughs> you took a year to do it. I had to study for you, man. I got you. Let me, let's do the keep right now, because I know, I think it was last night. She sent over to your marketing assets, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's do keep right now. I believe you sent me an email as to what email you want us to use for keep, right? Yeah. It should be the email. Crazy week this week, man. Tell me a little bit about your background, man. Because you mentioned you got some some stuff happening over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long story short, I have a background. Uh, really, my background is in research, but I went to school for computer science. And what I'm concentrating on now is kind of it started as a business. Sustainable well started as a business, whereas though it was going to be education and coaching to help people to get their credit right, to have them achieve their dreams, such as as get their first house, get their first car. I was already deep into researching credit how it works. I already looked all the way into FICO. I even went as far as understanding, I don't know if you want this out over, but I understand QCIP numbers and how deep they work and what that's for, the differences between your consumer report and your credit report. I know and understand all of that. I wasn't, I've never wanted to be average. I've always wanted to learn as much as I possibly could. That's what's up, man. You've, you've gone pretty deep. You got to... My hopes for you, man, is I don't want you to stay as an agent. I really... Because the stuff that you've learned, like I told you, we got to get you up, close a few loans, and get you up into the agency program where you can actually run and process this stuff by yourself. Because, I yeah. mean, you got the knowledge how to do it. Check your email real quick. You should have an email okay. uh, for... Um, that CRM. Okay, let me see. You should have a welcome email from Keep. Okay, yeah, be popping up in a second for me. And then that run is slow because of Zoom. We'll do, and I want to do like a little practice run how to plug in the clients in the system real quick. I'll kind of show you through that, how to upload, where to upload the quarter report and how to create a task. Just okay. Some basic stuff. And I'll give you two options on your first few clients. You can either email them, email me the quarter reports and I'll plug them in for you or you can plug them into the system. It's whatever is easier for you but i'll kind of give you a little you should be able to see my screen right now right uh, okay all uh, right yeah i can see yep i can see it okay cool your crm is this is basically what it's going to look a little bit different but this is going to be basically it so i'll give you an example I, you know this is actually your profile right here you know but i'll give mm -hmm. you an example so let's just say you want to add a contact you basically add a contact in there let's just do a brian test you put the email address brian at test.com I'm going to create a tag for you. You should have a tag. Each one of your clients, they're going to be tagged with the Wayne Pennington tag. Okay. So we know that they came from you. There you go. Simple as that. It's pretty basic how to how to create a task, how to create a contact. You just do it just the way I just did. Um, mm -hmm. Now, where to upload the credit report. That's the next thing that you need to know. You come right here to the file box. Okay. And you simply just upload it. You know, it's pretty basic from here. You find it. Oh, uh, okay. It, okay. You know, and just drag mm -hmm. it up in there and it will upload right in there you see that attached okay. if you have multiple like let's just say for example you have like a bunch of different bank statements or whatever it is if you ever have any you know like too much stuff and you don't want to upload it you can always email it to funding at pennington consulting group.com let me email that and text that okay as well And then when you email me, if you ever email this email, just CC me on it, and I'll always make sure I got this stuff. Uh, if but nevertheless, you'll just plug in the client, upload the credit report. I just showed you how to do that, and then create mm -hmm. a task. You can just create okay. a task, evaluation, request. You can set it for me or Lynn. Okay. So those are the only two things you need to remember. Lynn. So Lynn, Lynn for you or Lynn. Lynn? Me or Lynn. 
Okay. Three simple steps on how to get in. You should know how to add a contact. Uh -huh. You should know how to upload whatever documents on the file box. Mm -hmm. You should know how to create a task in the system and you're setting up a task for if evaluation request is the name of the task and you set, mm -hmm. set it for Lynn. And if, if you don't see Lynn, you should see Lynn in your system. If not, you should see, of course, you should see me. Okay. okay? And as you're getting started, um, you know, always just, if you want to just text me, hey, Brian, I just put this client in the system. You know, let me know if you see him, you know, or whatever it is, I'll get in there and, you know, just kind of, you know, to make sure you feel comfortable. All evaluations will be done. If you submit an evaluation before noon, it's going to be done by the end of the day. If you submit something okay. after 12 p.m., it's going to be done the following day before noon. Okay. Okay. So that, that allows you to set the right expectations with your clients. So, for example, if you receive a credit report after 12 p.m., you can say, hey, I'll have an answer for you tomorrow before noon. If you okay. receive a quarter report or some an inquiry or something like that after 12 p.m., you say, before 12 p.m., you say, hey, I'll have an answer by the end of the day, okay? And, okay? and it is my word to you that you will have an evaluation answered within five hours. You give me three to five hours, I'll have an answer to you as to what that person qualifies for, okay? And that, before I forget, this is the section. I'll be giving you a call, but as you get started, okay. you start submitting so many different things. This is the section where you will have all the funding review on all the different stuff. Mm. Quick side question. Have you watched the video that I created on how to handle the initial call? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you send the video where I talk about how I use this section. Yeah, you use those as the references to the questions that you ask the actual uh, customer. Exactly. Totally do not believe in scripts as it pertains to what we're selling. Okay? Yeah. A thousand percent believe that a good broker understands the three packs of lending and you can have a natural conversation with your client and it's all right right here. How did you hear about yeah. it? You know, how much money are you looking for? Mm -hmm. um, as you input this, per, you know, I've shown you how to add a contact in the system. So as you're having that conversation, with them provide me as much information as possible here because when i'm doing the evaluation i'll be referencing your notes they okay. need 20 grand they need the money for this they're this type of business i'll be looking at this to help me come up with strategy ideas on where we can get them reach their funding goal does that make sense okay i have questions about the strategies i know you didn't go deep 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 into it in the first course but i know you were talking about trade lines i, I am an active credit coach i use I i'll give you my sauce i use tradelinesupply.com but a lot of times that can take up to 50 days to come back on a report so if somebody doesn't meet the B plus criteria of your credit evaluation funding, what is there anything that you would recommend that is faster or the trade lines? Okay, so and you you're probably not gonna like my answer, but I'm not a big fan of trade lines. I I was the trade line guy. I'm telling you, I <laughs> I, I screwed it up for everybody. Because I've been doing this for, for too long. It was, this is how we use trade lines. We use trade lines to offset, number one, utilization. If yeah. somebody has a utilization issue, boom, immediately gets rid of it. We use trade lines for age of file concerns. We use trade lines for history concerns. Mm. Let's just be honest, Mr. Pankton. Lenders are not stupid. Okay? Yeah, they know exactly what it, it, they what know it is. what it is. It, it used to be those days, I've done it before, where you can have somebody with a 400 credit, you run them through credit repair, you put two or three trade lines, you get them twenty to $50,000. You can't do that anymore. Anymore. It just doesn't mm -hmm. work like that. So I have opted from not using trade lines to get funding, but I use trade lines to help people recover from bad credit. Okay? Got you. That's the only benefit I see because I've actually I've had real denials because the underwriter says that you have too many authorized user accounts. I have seen that on a denial mm -hmm. that I think that you have. And I have seen underwriter, I've, I've had an underwriter with me listening to a client on the phone saying that, what was the statement? You, the lack of personal credit history, personal individual credit history. That's that's the word that was used. Mm -hmm. and they, they see it, they know it's an authorized user. They know, and especially you got a guy that has really bad credit and then they got five authorized user accounts with 20,000, come on, man. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I use it for somebody had shitty credit coming from a bankruptcy, Let's put in a few secured credit cards and put in two or three AUs on here. That's going to help mm. you get that city card or that Capital One card. Exactly. With, okay. Uh, that's what I was. Okay. Yes. Yes. All day, mm -hmm. every day. Use that for that. But to use it to help you get ready for credit card stacking, business credit card stacking, no, it doesn't work. But business credit card stacking, specifically, a big part of the decision heavily weighs upon the past credit history you've had on your personal credit. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, going back to the three packs of lending, they want three things, either credit, income, or asset. If you're talking about business credit cards, 
They're not looking at revenue. They're not looking at time in business. They're not looking at tax returns. They're not looking at income. They're looking at your personal credit. And, and just in reality, and common sense will tell you, if I walked into the bank of Mr. Pennington, and if I was seeking fifty to $100,000 in unsecured credit, would you be curious as to what my past unsecured credit history looks like? Yes, exactly. Of course you would. And yeah. if I came in there and I got five AU accounts, and I'm asking for, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I've seen. My experience has not really uh, allowed me to use AU accounts. Um, for, for that aspect of it only for credit repair stuff is what i use at your accounts see this is the stuff that you haven't really seen yet let me show you some cool stuff when you kind of have some actual clients so let me let me give you an example so this is actually a this is a real life client right now this is a client of mine that we did an evaluation on so i'm gonna just show you from the beginning so if you send me a credit report this is a credit report that this client sent to me okay and i take this report you've seen a million and one of them and i turn it into this spreadsheet you've heard me talk about this spreadsheet this is this is what i call the almighty cc it's a client yep. credit profile, okay? This spreadsheet breaks down. It gives me all the open revolving accounts, much emphasis on the revolving accounts on the top because I'm trying to see what I can get them qualified for business credit cards. So it gives me their utilization, as you can see right there. As you can see, there's much emphasis. This one is colored because of the responsibility. It's an AU. Mm -hmm. I want to know that when I'm making my decision. The other ones are all individual responsibility. What are the four factors for credit-based lending? The four factors are regulatory items, utilization, need to file, and inquiry. So the yep. emphasis on this thing is number one, the negative items are going to be right here. Utilization okay. is going to be right here. Inquiries is going to be right here. Age of file, it's going to be right here. You see that? It gives me a nice quick snapshot of this. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, and this is stuff that you you don't learn as an agent, but once you start learning how to the agency stuff, when you run your agency, I show you how to work this thing, right? Yeah. In addition to that, I provide you a formula that I created. This is gonna blow your fucking mind, man. Nobody's doing this shit. I'm telling you, I came up with a whole formula, very based landing matrix, and using this formula, the four factors that will determine your approval amount. I, mm. Based on your age of file, based on wow. your credit score, based on, it's like a point system. Yeah. Okay? And you come up right here and it will spit out exactly right here, right in this section. I tell you some average because we're not the lender. I'll tell this lady, okay, you're going to qualify for a minimum of 15 to 25 in business mm -hmm. credit lines. And you qualify between five to $10,000 in personal credit lines. Okay. Wow. And, and this is the point system that you see right here. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This gives you as the broker, because again, we don't know this shit until we submit, but yeah. we need to give the client some type of answer. And this right. is over the years of me. And, and honestly, I'm going to be broke. Really honest. This is me smoking weed late in the middle of the night trying to come up with something, some way of trying to come up with a system of developing a projected formula. And I was like, yeah. what am I going to use? I know there's the four factors I use to determine what they qualify for. And with my years in this industry, I used to be able to look at this and I could be able to predict what these numbers could be as far as what they projected amount. But as I was coming up with this course, this, this projection, as I was coming up with this course, I was like, okay, how can I be able to teach Mr. Pennington what's in my head? And that's yeah. Yeah. I came up with this shit right here. And I was like, I'm going to come up with four factors and a point system. And based on how many points they get, based on a few different factors I come up with, it's going to determine how much they're going to qualify for business credit cards and personal lines. You see that? Wow. Now, yeah, nobody's now, doing that. Nobody's doing that. Now, I'm going to show you in real life what happened. So and I, I told her, uh, and if you remember that, I told her that she qualifies for 15 to 25, right? Now, once this happens, we have them fill out an agreement. And after they fill out an agreement, we prepare what we call a recap report. That's what you see in your face right here okay and, and that has all the business information and that has all the personal information and okay. we come up with projections because when you know with, with business credit cards with any credit cards you don't have to use actual income you can use projected income are you with me so far yeah okay i wasn't gonna leave you hanging i also have a formula for the projections because <laughs> everybody's doing I, I like this <laughs> see so is there a wow. sense of there's a whole structure uh, when i okay. talked to you i told you that what i what i'm offering in this industry is number one clarity and structure okay because this stuff you know about it but you kind of didn't have a way to execute these things right so i have the projected system for you i have a point system and you can make your adjustments so now you have all of this prepared ready to go all you got to do is now submit now when you start submitting let me just show you, if you and this this is something and we submit these applications for our clients it takes me literally minutes to submit let me just show you what we've done so far this lady has been approved and this is something and I'm, I'm trying to show you this that i am somebody that does this in real life i don't just talk about this on youtube yeah this was on monday we got a what nine thousand from b of a okay? okay we also got an approval from truest they just came in on tuesday we haven't confirmed them out okay this is what you're looking at is an application report here of all the applications we submitted we submitted with chase with bank of america we got denied with marcus bank we got an approval with truest mm -hmm. this is how we internally track the apps and then the application 
support that goes to the client, okay? Oh, wow. And as you can see, this spreadsheet started from the evaluation. And it went from evaluation, and I do a credit evaluation. As you can see on the bottom here, there's also a bank statement evaluation. This is for oh. these products. You follow me? All within yeah. the same system. I'm kind of talking over a lot, but let, let me slow it down for a second. No, no, this is good. When you submit a client over, this is what's going to be prepared right here. We're going to do an evaluation, and we're mm. going to go in the system. Let's get back in the system here. And we're going to come into the fun. We're going to base the information that you provide us on the initial call. And we're going to come in the funding review section. We're going to tell you, this is exactly what we need to start processing. These are my thoughts and advice. I'm going to tell you, these are the programs that I recommend. Mm. And I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to tell you what they qualify for every single one of the programs. For UBO phase one, phase two, personal lines, personal loans, revenue loans. I evaluate them for every single thing. So you provide wow. whatever information you provide me. If you give me credit reports, if you give me bank statements, if you give me whatever it is, you paint the picture and I'm going to look at everything and I'm going to evaluate it from everything. And then I'm going to set up a task for you, letting you know, hey, Mr. Pennington, you know, Brian is ready for you to, to reach out to him. You're going to reach out to, hey, Brian, this is what you qualify for. Boom. Uh, this is what I need. And this, you know, without going too far, all your email templates, everything is going to be all in the system. But it's all automated in the system. You ain't got to worry about nothing. It's all okay. going to be built in. You follow me? Yeah. So yeah. this is a lot, um, but I don't want to go that heavy with you yet, but I want to paint the future that I see you kind of having. Yes, you're gonna. we're going to start with a few leads that you got. We'll process them, and I'm going to walk your hand through with every single one. I want us to look at the evaluation that I just showed you. I want you to see where I'm coming up with these numbers. I want you to, because especially with your background, with your knowledge and everything, I want you to see where these numbers are coming from, and I want you to see, okay, this is where we're going next. And, and kind of just think of, give yourself like six months, and, and you should be able to do this shit by yourself. Show. I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm honestly giving myself about four months. Okay. I'm giving myself. I'm already a certified <laughs> Metro Two operator, and Metro before the updates came in, I had to manually know uh, the E Oscar fail codes for uh, certain things on people's credit report. So I can write out a, uh, a E Oscar fail report with the codes and the code references. So I can I can get this stuff down in four months and do this. Dude, I'm telling you this stuff this right here you've seen the videos let me just show you once you because this steps is pretty easy and, and i eventually when you get started i want you to manually do these but i want you to know that once you, you're in you hire an assistant i help you train an assistant out of the philippines i don't do this shit my assistant prepares this for me my assistant prepares uh -huh. this recap report for me you, you see what i'm saying and yeah. all i come over here and do is submit the applications but let me share something with you when i submit the apps i, I, I log them in right here so when i submit it the chase app this is yeah. it I I literally just go to chase.com and I submit the application. I literally wow. just go to Bank of America. I didn't do nothing crazy and funny. Look, look at this. And you, you literally submit. Okay, yeah. So you no, submit in neighbor half. I just, yes. So I'm trying to tell you, whenever you see that these people that are offering this business credit card stacking, whatever it is, this is what they do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's, there's, oh, yeah. there's no funny because I hate when a lot of people talk about we have a relationship with the lender and no, don't be ass. They're literally mm -hmm. are just doing what I just just showed you going on right here. They're going online and submitting these applications. And I've made videos about this on YouTube. This specific product, just this alone is because we charge 10% for credit card stack. Right. You know, okay. and it's an amazing product. It's a win-win for the broker and also the, the client because they don't report on your personal credit. They only report on the business credit. Helps build business credit. Comes with 0% interest for the first 6 months, 12 months, a year. Um, you know, and, and we're talking about the products that we're talking about. You know, we're not talking about anything that you don't know about. We're Bank of America business credit card. I literally, you can see the the Googles that I do. Yeah. And but it's not. And you just come over here, and I and I will tell you which one to apply for. But at the same time, there's some tricks to it. I show you how to use. Because an, another thing is, I don't use my same IP address. I use a VPN. So I show you how to get yeah. on the VPN. So it's it's a whole process. It's a whole magical process to it but this is only as it pertains to business credit cards it's the only product that we process like this you know with revenue loans with real estate with merchant cash advance with all the other products there is a relationship with the lender where we have an ISO agreement where we submit the bank statements or whatever it is they come back to us let us know what they qualify for it's very traditional but specifically business credit cards nobody has a relationship with the lender lenders don't accept relationship for business credit cards they have affiliate relationships but all 
all the different companies that offer this product, the way they process it and, and fulfill it is exactly the way I just showed you. I know that for a fact. <laughs> uh, I had somebody in the past work with me and I'm very good at infrastructure and how things work. And so I, I went back and traced what that person had did for me and then went and found out that uh, this guy was was literally just uh, submitting documents to the banks in my behalf. Yeah. And this is back a minute ago. So yeah, I, I do understand that this is how this is how this is. I appreciate it. I, I don't, and that's one of the things that pisses me off about this industry is the lack of transparency and how to how they're making this stuff. You know, it's like almost out of reach. You know, just when you look at a product like business credit building, I remember when I learned about it. Mm -hmm. They just made it so taboo. Right. Like, you know, and it was like once I understand it, it's like it's just a whole different scoring algorithm. It's just very similar to personal, but it's just different. And it's, I try to be very honest and I hated how a lot of the YouTube critics and a lot of people, number one, they made things very taboo. And then number two, you have a, a lot of people that are just regurgitating a bunch of shit. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes.